down there? Again? I'm glad you come back. Can we talk? Sure. Come on. I was actually going to call you tonight. Maybe we can just sit down and talk about it. I'm not here to lie about nothing no more, okay? Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm going to tell you I was on drugs pretty bad. And I was a piece of shit. And I've been clean for a week. And I, this is the first time I've been clean in a long time. I'm really trying my hardest to get my shit together. I got legal shit I gotta take care of, which I'm gonna take care of. The office, Dean was moving. Mm -hmm. And he called me and asked him to help move. And I said, man, I don't wanna cause no trouble. I don't wanna go over to the office. I don't wanna, so I just need you to help me move some shit out of the storage building. I said, well, dude, I don't, Will asked me not to come to that office. And I said, and I'm not trying to get in any shit started. I said, you know, I said, I'm trying to do the right things. I'm trying to get that other thing back for you. I'm going to do whatever I can to get this right with you. I promise you that. I mean, I'm doing all the right things. Well, who's got the black gun? Some dude from Heritage. What's his name? I, I don't want to get in all that, man. This is a dangerous dude. Well, what's your first name? His first name? Mm -hmm. Jake. I'm not lying no more, but this is what I want to do. Okay? Man to man. You know, I don't want no more charges. You know, and out of all the years I've known you, Will, I've never done nothing to shame. And when I did these things, I wasn't thinking with the right mind. And, you know, it took this to wake up, to wake up, and realize what I've done wrong. Well, I've been trying to get that black one back for a week, and, you know, you told me the other day you swore you didn't get it. Because I was scared. I'm not, I'm not going to lie about nothing no more, Will. What I was going to ask you is, for some reason, I'm trying to work with this guy. Hold on, I've done seen him. Okay. For some reason... I mean, is there a value on it that I can pay you for it? I mean, whatever it will take to make this right with you. I mean, I know I got this other one, and that's legally, and that's, that's out of your hands. I'm going to take care of that. But I want to make things right. I don't want to lie no more. I mean, the other one is about a $150 gun. So if I gave you $150, Will? I mean, you can't get it back. I don't know. I'm going to try to talk. I'm gonna talk to him tonight, but I, I'm glad you come back because I was gonna call you tonight. I'm tired of the middleman shit. Did you get my meat cleaver? No. No, and I have not know nothing. Was it at the office? The meat cleaver? Yeah. You put it up against. Now, last night, I don't know. I didn't look. Last night, all I, I was, was there. That's why I was looking for it. You I put it the up mattresses are gone, but you know, yeah, the mattresses. Yeah, yeah you told me I could take that. Yeah. You gave yeah. me permission. Sure. But I'm letting you know the only reason why. I come over to his team and say, I don't have anybody to help me. I don't have anybody to help me. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I have warrants out for my arrest. I'm like, I can't miss work right now. I gotta go take care of these warrants. But I, I'm trying to figure out, <laughs> trying to figure out when's a good time to go. I just can't figure out why the fuck he brought you over there though against my request. That's what I can't figure out. He could ask me to help him load this shit up. That's why I don't understand. All he says, he's like, I just need some help. I really need some help. I was at the house of Mike, and Mike just looked at me and started laughing. He's like, you're, you're going to go over there? I was like, man, I don't want to go over there. I'm like, I really, you know. And like I, like I told Mike, you know, and Mike's, Mike asked me, he said, how do you feel after a week of not doing drugs, not taking pills, nothing? I said, well, dude, for the first few days, I felt like shit. I said, but then I started coming to my senses after, afterwards. I said, it's been extremely hard. I said, because I got codependent. Code like I've never stole nothing in my life, I've never done nothing shitty in my life at all. I'm like, and all of a sudden I let this shit consume me. I'm like, I've known Will for years. I'm like, we've been close friends. I've, I've lived with him at his house out there. He's never had shit come on me. I'm like, and I let it consume. I said, and the right thing would have been to do was to go to him and tell him I have a problem. This is what I've done, and this would have never escalated to what it's where it's escalated to. I'm like, and you know. I'm like, I, I don't, you know, I even told Mindy and Brenda last week when they dropped the kids off. I'm like, you know, I did it. It was stu stupid. And even Brenda was like, man, you've never done nothing like this before. What the hell? What the hell were you thinking? I mean, and on top of that, you know, I mean, it's funny. You're the closest friend. That's why I'm not like this thing. You know, I'm not even that. I got to take care of this before this issue. And it ain't even all about that. What bothers me the most is what I did. I do have a conscience.
five dollars for it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, Will. It was right, and if you looked on date, it was right before I got a job here. Remember how we quit working with your sister? And I just started freaking out, and my thing in my head was, and this is where I said to myself, I'm like, all right, well, if I do this, I can get it out. I'm like, but I'm just borrowing. I'm not stealing nothing, blah, blah, blah. I was just queer, and I never went and got it out. I kept blowing it off and blowing it off, and then I just never got it out, and then the date went over. I couldn't find the phone, and then I couldn't find the fucking ticket, and I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. So I didn't know what I was gonna do. And I, I mean, there's so many times I just wanted to come up to you and tell you. But I mean, I can't, you I know, mean, all that, and you still borrow money off me, you give me shit about giving me money. I know. For the office, shit like that. That, you know what that all amounted to? Was my stepdad. And I was trying to keep it private. I was trying to, you know, I had an addiction I was struggling with. I mean, I'm not saying this is going to be an easy road for me. It's extremely hard. But Michael Bob's for me, I've went weak. I'm trying to stay off anything. You know, I got so codependent, you know, I mean, I only took pills here and there, but after me and Minnie broke them and all, I started, it just turned into a spiral of, you know what I'm saying? It just turned into something I couldn't handle instead of asking, and I was too prideful to ask anybody for help, and then it turned into the gun situation, you know, and then, and then it got out of control, you know, and even like Mike said to me, he's like, well, if you just came to Will, you would be like, tell you this right now, yeah. well I just kind of strayed away from it, if you would have got rid of my dad's gun that was in there or Darby's, no, oh. I knew better than that, oh, I knew better than that, well, I, mm. I knew better, mm. but I know you probably, I mean you had to have known that I had an issue, because I haven't been myself, no, I mean I know you have an issue, but I knew you had my gun, that's why yeah. I asked you, and then I got scared and shit, and instead of just coming to you, I don't know why I didn't, but I've been thinking more clearly since I've been off that crap. I mean, it's been hard as hell. I've been scared as fuck. And then last night, we go up to the office to help him move, and I'm scared. You know, I'm already nervous. I'm like, Brent sees me, Will sees me. It's over, Dean. And I'm like, I don't feel comfortable doing it. That's this. what Brent called me about last night. Yeah. I'm like, Dean, I don't feel... Mm. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're lucky you didn't get arrested last night. The cops showed up. When me and Dean were pulling out of the U-Haul, Dean had his girlfriend there helping him, and she was pulling out of the front, she had him pulled over. And I said, son of a bitch, Dean, I told you. I'm like, I can't miss work tomorrow. Because I've already told Eugene some of what's going on. I didn't tell him the details. Because it's embarrassing. It's real embarrassing, man. But I hadn't told him none of the details. I just told him I got myself in a little bit of trouble and stupidity, and it's possible, you know, I'm going to have to take care of this warrant soon. I'm like, I don't know if they're going to, they may come up, they can come up to work any day. I'm like, but... I don't know. I said, I want to go take care of it. You know, that's another thing I've been fig trying to figure out. You know, it's fine that, you know, they said I'll be able to get bonded out. Well, I need to get bonded out quick so I can go back to work.